Do you know how to limit a search when using the library's computer catalog? If not, you should. Being able to focus your search will save you time and yield better results. Learn how to limit a search in the library catalog in this episode of ESL Library Lessons. ESL Library Lessons are short lessons to tell you about library resources and to help you use the library more effectively. These lessons are for anyone wanting to learn more about the library, but especially for people learning English as a second language. My name is Lynn Skazalski, and I'll be your guide. I'm a librarian at Caroline Kennedy Library in Dearborn Heights, and I want you to know about the free resources, services, and programs available at your local libraries. Let's get started. Today's topic is limiting a search in the library catalog. This lesson builds on a previous lesson which introduced the library catalog. For a quick review, a library catalog is a list of all the items that a library owns. Library catalogs are on computers, which makes it easy to search for items. We're going to start our search at the library's homepage. To do this, you can Google Dearborn Heights Library or you can type DHCL dot m i c h l i b r a r y dot o r g this will take you to the dearborn heights library website from here we're going to click on the catalog search button on the right now we're in the library's catalog Remember, this is a catalog not only for the two Dearborn Heights libraries, but for many of the libraries in TLN, the library network. When we search this catalog, we are searching 57 libraries holdings. Now that we're in the catalog, let's say that you like to read mysteries and Agatha Christie is your favorite author. We want to find books written by Agatha Christie, so I'm going to type Agatha Christie in the search box and press search. Spelling is important. Now we have the beginning of our search results, and on the left we can see it says library catalog and then the number of results retrieved. 1,245 items were retrieved that have the words Agatha Christie in the title or the description. This is a very large number and we do not want to scroll or look through that many. So what we want to do is limit our search. To limit means to make it more narrow or more specific or more focused. So we want to limit the search so it retrieves a smaller number of items. Now, one way to retrieve it is by a format. We're looking for books written by Agatha Christie. So the format we're interested in is book. So we're gonna click on format. And then it gives you a list of formats. I'm going to click on book. And then if we look up here at the number, it's been reduced. It now retrieved 838 items. So it did succeed in making the number of results smaller, but we're still left with a very large number. So another way we can limit it is by language. Let's say that your first language is Arabic and you prefer to read novels in your mother tongue, your first language. In that case, we can go to the bottom of our list of limiting options to where it says language. I'm going to click on language and then it shows the options available. I'm going to scroll down until I see Arabic. I'm going to click on that option. And if we look at the number in the orange circle, we see that now we have only 15 items retrieved. So these should all be books by Agatha Christie that are written in Arabic. And if we look at the results list in the main part of the screen, we can see the transliterated titles. We see the title, the author, and then whether it's available. 
To get in for more information, let's click on the title. So the transliterated title is first, then the author, and then underneath is more information. For instance, a summary, which is a short description, the publication information, and the subject headings. To get more information, we're going to click on the left on the button that says All Copies. Now, above the gray bar, it says Shelf Location, Dearborn Heights, North Caroline Kennedy. So this book is located at Caroline Kennedy Library in Dearborn Heights. Beneath that, we see Collection. So within the Caroline Kennedy Library, this item will be in the Arabic collection. The shelf location indicates where within the Arabic collection we'll find it. This is in the Arabic fiction section under the author's last name, Christie. Fiction means a story. It is something that is made up or invented in someone's mind. This is in contrast to nonfiction, which is factual or true. So this is fiction or a story written by Agatha Christie. And we'll find it on the shelf under the call number Arabic Fiction Christie. A call number is like the address of an item. It tells you where you can find the item in the library. The last column indicates the status. This item is available, which means it should be available on the shelf. If this item were checked out, it would say checked out and there would be a due date. A due date is the date that the item is expected to be back at the library. So if you were at Caroline Kennedy Library, you could walk to the Arabic section, look for this book on the shelf, and then borrow it. If you need help finding anything, just ask a librarian. If you were not at Caroline Kennedy Library and wanted to get this book, you could get it by placing a hold. To place a hold is to request that a library get an item for you. Placing a hold is covered in the first episode of Using the Library Catalog. Please watch that episode for more information. We just did an author search and then we narrowed or limited the results by specifying the format to be book and the language to be Arabic. Now we're going to do another search. Let's say that you have a child who has a school project and needs to find a nonfiction or factual book about a country. Your child chooses Lebanon as the country that he wants to research. We want to check the library catalog to search for books on Lebanon. So this time we're going to do a subject search. So in the search box, I'm going to delete Agatha Christie and instead type Lebanon. Again, I'm going to press the search button and I get a results list. I'm looking at the number on the left. There are 407 items in the library catalog that have Lebanon in the title or the description. Again, this is a large number and we do not want to scroll through 407 items. Rather, we want to limit our search to make our results more focused. We're going to say that you are at Caroline Kennedy Library, and so you are interested only in books at that library. In that case, we want to limit our search by location. To limit a search by location, we're going to click the Change button, which is next to 57 locations. Let's go ahead and click Change. And now we see a list of the libraries that share this computer catalog. Scrolling down shows you the names of all the libraries. We're at Caroline Kennedy, and I see that option on the left, Dearborn Heights North Caroline Kennedy. I'm going to check in that box and then click Save. Our results have now been reduced to 93 items, which is a big improvement. However, that's still a lot of items to go through. 
Now your son is required to get a book for his project. So we want to limit the search by format. So we're going to click format on the left side and then we see some of the options. Your son needs to get a book for his school project, so we're going to click book. Our options have been further reduced to 69. So again, it's an improvement, but too many to scroll through. Another way we can limit our search is by collection. Let's go ahead and click on collection. Because this book is for a child, we want to look for a children's book. Looking under collection, we can see the various collections that the books are found in. There's an option for juvenile nonfiction collection. Juvenile refers to children's. Nonfiction, again, refers to factual or true. So let's select juvenile nonfiction collection. Now our results have been limited to only eight items, which is a nice number we can easily scroll through eight items and choose the ones that are of most interest. The first item looks good, so I'm going to click on the title to get more information. This book is called Lebanon by Lisa Owings. We see a picture of it on the left. We're getting a summary or a description. This book sounds good, so we want to get it. But first, we need to know where to find it. To do that, we need to click on the left on All Copies. The All Copy screen shows us that this book is at Dearborn Heights North, Caroline Kennedy, which is how we limited our search. Underneath, we can see Collection. So this is in the Juvenile or Children's Nonfiction Collection. We'll find it on the shelf under the Shelf Location which is the call number. The call number is J for Juvenile, 956.92 Owings. Remember, Owings is the last name of the author. The status of this book is available. That means it should be on the shelf. It is not checked out. So we could write down this call number, J956.92 Owings, Go to the Juvenile Nonfiction Collection at Caroline Kennedy Library and find this book on the shelf. If you need any help, just ask a librarian. Librarians are at libraries to help people. Today we did an author search and a subject search in the library catalog. We made our search more narrow or focused by applying limits. We limited by format, book, by language, Arabic, by library, Caroline Kennedy, and by collection, juvenile nonfiction. You can limit your search in other ways by looking at the options on the left. Keep in mind that if you have any questions, just ask a librarian. That's all for today. Thanks for watching this episode of ESL Library Lessons, and I'll see you at the library.